This episode's FDR shoutout goes to Cleo Peterson and Lauren M. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Leave a comment down below to have a chance for a shoutout in the next episode. Make sure you're subscribed. Ashley, do you wanna? Do you wanna? Okay. You're kind of heavy. Weighing down on my hat here. What have you been eating, dude? Hey guys, welcome back to another fish tank review. <laughs> I'm just trying to keep really still so that Rapashi doesn't feel like she's being too disturbed. She doesn't feel like she's having an earthquake experience. Really glad you can make it to this video. If it's your first time, awesome. If it's not your first time, even better because Thanks for coming back to see me. And I'm just here to hopefully brighten up your Mondays because Mondays aren't the greatest of days as we all might know and experience. But hopefully, at least with this video, your Monday will start off a little bit better. Start your week off with a little more, with a little more. I just hope you enjoyed the video. Oh yeah, before we get started, if you haven't heard of Petscord yet, it's a little pet keeping, fish keeping community online, a social media sort of thing. Uh, just check it out, petscord.com. You can share pictures of your pets. You can look at other people's pictures of pets if you don't have your own pets, which is really sad. You should probably get a pet. And you can submit your fish tanks or reptile enclosures, I don't know, to fish tank review on the website. You just purchase a FTR ticket and you might get a chance to be an FTR. There is a ticket type that actually lets you get into FTR with a hundred percent chance. But that ticket costs a bit more. Not real money, of course. It's all free. But there are points that you can earn by interacting with the site. I am now realizing how much I naturally move my head when I'm talking because this feels very unnatural. Rapashi, get down here. This was a mistake. This is your real home. That's right. You know this place. Alright, so y'all said Guspacho wasn't happy in his little jar and that he needed to be in a 2.5 gallon heated and filtered tank, but honestly, I don't want to put him in a 2.5 gallon tank. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but like, I kind of want to put him inside of a 33 gallon long aquarium heated and filtered, perfectly cycled with a, I don't know, 80 degrees? My man's a rapper. You happy, man? Please be happy. <laughs> okay, okay. I see what you did there. You thought... I see what you did there, you made us think that you don't want to upgrade the tank, not even to a 2.5 gallon, but then you had us. You had a 33 gallon line around all ready for the fish to get in there. That's a massive upgrade, 33 gallons, amazing, amazing room for the fish to swim in. Now, one thing though, what up with your attitude, bro? You happy, man? Please be happy. You making it feel like the viewers who watched you, who told you that's not a appropriate sized tank is like, complaining or whiny and you're doing this out of sort of like okay okay I'll, I'll i'll satisfy you guys i'll i'll make my fish happy he was happy in this small little vase next to the sun anyways but sure i'll make it I'll, I'll make it for you guys i can imagine you rolling your eyes all throughout this video as you were making it hopefully that's sarcasm if it's not screw you man guess what you didn't need to make this video if you just did things the proper way right from the start putting your pet fish in a vase and not even filling that vase half full in the beginning that's inexcusable behavior anyone with a brain should have known that was not okay all right what seemed like a good upgrade video has become unwholesome for me. I talked myself into it. I just started realizing this dude probably did this for clout at the end of the day, but whatever man, we'll overlook that. Ultimately, the fish got a bigger enclosure, but I'm still hesitant to thank you for it. Pet score submission by Christine Springs. Now this is, they claim, their first attempt at a fish tank, and that is pretty darn good. It looks like it's a backdrop, so a picture uh, in the background, because I don't think that's real pieces of gorgeous wood roots, but you got a army of live plants. There's still a lot to be done for your aquascape, and in my books, this is gonna be a 3.4 out of 5. Keep it up. This is from the Petscord meme review group. I forgot what their group is called, but this isn't fish related, but it's too funny not to share. Kim Jong-un, libertarian, right? Wow, I've been betrayed. Join the workers party, you know you want to. What is going on? Only if my seat is next to yours, daddy. <laughs> Go herping. Go herping is hilarious. This guy is like, you know, meme lord only second to yours truly. That katana that he uses to open the reptile boxes does make me a little 
a little nervous if I'm gonna be 100% honest, but that might just be me. I don't trust myself. I'm not a skilled samurai. Let's just put it that way. Pets course submission by Ethan with a nice clean betta fish tank. Now, is this a 2.5 gallon is what I'm wondering because a 2.5 gallon, although this is planted and the water looks clean, you got a filter, you got a heater, Got a nice night crew light. The fish looks healthy. It's still on the smaller end and I wouldn't, I'm not inclined to start accepting 2.5 gallons or even three gallons, anything below a five gallon as acceptable fish tank size for bettas. I like that you have planted in and throughout the hardscape, which is the wood, and you have used a quite nutrient rich looking substrate there. 3.6 out of five, keep it up. I don't get why sacrifice 80% of that already small tank for a crappy plant. Now, I don't know if this plant is crappy per se, but this is a very, very crappy decision. You can really tell their priority with this setup. They really wanna prioritize that the tank is heated. Not that there's no filter, not that this fish is going to suffer from ammonia burns, either that or too frequent of water changes causing shock, causing imbalances. And they also prioritize what to them is aesthetic, although this to me looks horrible because you have a oversized heater in a small, small enclosure. It's the heater is taking up everything. You can't look at this and not see the heater. That's just awful aesthetics. That's like putting a treadmill in the middle of your already very small living room. I guess some people like that look. I personally don't know anyone who would. When you finish shopping for your next aquascape and now you have to wait for everything to ship. Package. That is an interesting spelling of of that word. <laughs> Can't say I've heard that before. Very memeable. Man, is this Snow White? I'm not too familiar with every Disney thing, but I'm pretty sure that's Snow White. She's really on something else, let me tell you. But that's pretty much it. I kind of check for Amazon Mail like every every few hours after I make a purchase. Like they're fast, but they're not that fast, Chris, calm down. And is it just me or does anyone else always think either their package is gonna be broken if it's a, something delicate or they're just gonna get porch pirated? I always worry about these two things to the point that I expect them to happen, although they've almost never happened. The porch pirate thing has never happened to me. Super lucky. It, uh, and my package has been broken maybe once or twice. Also quite super lucky. On Facebook, those poor koi. Man, y'all still on Facebook when pets cord? Okay, I thought that was, hey, hey, Chris, Chris, edit something here. Thanks, we're a good team, you and I. Yeah, this is why you stay off of Facebook, homies. Especially those groups with the Karens and the Boomers. Look at that electrical cord. If it rains out here, and the water fills up a little bit more and that electrical cord is plugged into an outlet, well, you really can't fill up that this tub like just a bit more and take the electrical cords a little bit farther out of the tub. Maybe they just want their fish to die at this point. I don't really see any evidence that they, they want to keep these fish alive for much longer. I see evidence of, of a murder. The bonus secret comment of this video is Clown Loach. I'm no expert, but this looks a bit small to me. I'm glad you're not an expert and that you've noticed that this is too small. It doesn't take an expert to notice this. Again, what's with the priority here? Yes, betta fish are tropical fish that need a heater and need pretty stable temperatures of 25 degrees Celsius, but what they need arguably more of is actual space to swim, a well-filtered fish tank that has enough water to allow the beneficial bacteria to dissipate whatever waste comes out of its butt so that it doesn't burn itself with poison. Let me tell you, when people see this, they don't see a fish tank. They notice right away that there's a wire awkwardly dangling on this thing that's hanging off your wall. Pets course submission by GM. Once again, another betta tank. And this actually looks like a 2.5 gallon again. So same sort of, uh, same sort of suggestions to you, but compared to the crappy fish tanks we find on Reddit, this is almost like a gem. Betta is a short fin, which is great, just amazing. Amazing decision. Short fin and female bettas are the way to go. Fish keepers, future potential fish keepers, if you're watching this, people who wanna get a betta fish but want the super elaborate half moons and the crown tails and long fins, try to prioritize the fish 
health as they age and stop supporting these long fins. Besides, short fin bettas, because they can move better and have more energy, they will show more personality as well. And who says their looks are out-competed by longer fins? I actually enjoy the look of a placat or a female betta much more. That aside, this tank has a few problems right off the bat. Anubius and Java Fern both planted into the substrate. You don't want to do that? because that will rot their roots. 3.1 out of 5, keep it up. You're almost there, do a bit more research and you'll be good. Everyone else saying hornwort is easy to keep. My hornwort. Gone. Reduced to atoms. That's my Thanos voice. I, I think I can do better. Gone. Reduced to atoms. I can't even remember what he sounds like. Whatever. I feel this on a personal level. It's the reason why I don't recommend hornwort. I got it once, it fell apart on me. Needles everywhere, brown leaves everywhere. And when they do succeed in my tank, they grow way too fast. I gotta be trimming them every three days, two days. I ain't got time for that. I'm over here trying to do some low maintenance, like self-sustaining tank. I don't need nothing to grow that fast. Even my salvinia don't grow that fast. And salvinia is a floater plant, man. Hornwort, you need to calm down. Stefano M sent this picture in. Now I can't see the whole aquarium, so I can't really judge it fairly. A moderate, maybe a slightly average amount of live plants. I'm not sure how I feel about the substrate color. You know me, I like it clean. But you got some dwarf sag about to start carpeting it up. And you got some Cory gang, panda Cory's in the mix. Let's go. You're doing some minimal scaping with a choya wood. 3.1 out of 5. Keep it up. 10 gallon tank separated into 5. Four bettas, one molly? What? You're kidding me. This is not okay. So each one of them gets two gallons. But the thing is, with a with just a two gallon tank, the fish only experiences its own ammonia poisoning. But this is two gallons on top of all the other fish that's in the same system of water. So that's five times more ammonia and the same amount of space if the fish only had two gallons. This is five times worse. How did you manage to do that? And one unlucky molly. Why is there a molly? 100 gallon comes with everything you need, including six 12 inch goldfish. That, that might just be everything I need. Two 12 inch plecos and one 20 inch Japanese koi? Oh my goodness. Well, if it's a thousand dollar fish, you'd think you would treat it a little bit better. Do not go gently into that good sunset. Pet score submission by Yaren. This is a completely pleasant scape to look at. Another betta fish tank, by the way, and probably the, the most appropriate, appropriately sized betta we've seen this whole this whole episode. Besides the first video, but that, I told you guys, that don't, that don't count. Love the lines and the complexities of that hardscape centerpiece. Tall plants in the back, smaller plants in the front. Thick layer of nutritious rich substrate with some curves here and there. Real substrates have curves. Looks like a good old nicrolite up top. That's what I'm talking about. 4.2 out of 5, let's go. What for the fish's life? Cat wants him. <laughs> this is crazy, guys. I never thought these bulls would get worse. At least if you have a fish bull, make it look nicer than this. You know, the cat is not the main culprit here. It's you. You're the main culprit. You want this fish dead, not your cat. The real killer here is your poor choice of doing no research. Do you really need to automate the feeding process? Can't you just give a bit of time to your pet? Please. If you're not going to do that, why even get a pet? I'm willing to bet a lot that that feeder is overfeeding that fish by a large amount. That thumbnail should be flipped. I agree. It, it should be it should be double of these. Or however many hands you have, put them down, man. That's a doggy water bowl. That's, that's the water you're going to want your dog to drink out of. Are you sure? Are you sure about that? On top of that, the cherry on top, Spongebob house, dead in the center, with fruity pebble gravel. Uh -huh. We out, son. Welcome to the end of the video. Thank you guys for tuning in all the way till the end, helping with the algorithm, pushing this video and channel to new heights. And I really hope that this video made your Monday a little bit more bearable. Whatever Mondays look like for you, I hope I was able to help a little bit. Of course, not me alone, but with Rapashi here. Big thank you to my Patreons of Fish for Thought. Can't be here without you guys. You are supporting this channel in such a real way that, you know, you can't be replaced. If you guys weren't here the next day, this channel would probably be running down to the ground. So for that, I thank you. The secret comment of this video is Molly. Go find the bonus secret comment somewhere else in this video and try to make a 
secret sentence out of it that nobody will suspect. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe. There'll be more videos to come and don't forget to get your hands wet.